case and um, let me just insert it okay so we have a new practice <clears throat> I hope you can't see the screen properly and I will read it. So you're going to design a fossil logic system for a small fish pond. You know a fish pond, right? So it's actually um, an artificial area wherein we grow fishes. So basically um, in this uh, practice, we will be designing a fossil logic system, okay? So there is a pump, so there is a pump, let me just draw the diagram of the problem so that you will know it. So this is our diagram. So our output is, is the pump speed, okay? So we want to determine the speed of the pump in supplying water to the, to the pond. So it depends on the water temperature as an input. So our input is the temperature here. And also we have another input which is density, okay? Density refers to the number of fishes present on the small fish pond, okay? So we have a fish pond and we have fishes in that uh, fish pond, we call it the samak, right, in Arabic. So we have fishes in that uh, fish pond. So the pump is supplying water to that fish pond. If I draw it, it could, it could be something like this. Okay, it's like this. So we have fishes inside this one. Okay, so these fishes are are swimming so there is an output of the water here and there is an input of the water here okay so there is a motor so this motor is getting water from the ground and so put it in the fish pond okay so the amount of water being supplied by this motor depends on the temperature and the density or the number of fishes present in this fish pond so please make note, make note of that. Okay, so our temperature, we categorize them into three. If it is zero to 20 degrees Celsius, we categorize it as low temperature. If the water temperature is 20, 20 degrees up to 30 degrees um, Celsius, we call it average temperature. If it is 30 degrees up to 50, we call it high temperature, okay? And then density is the number of fishes. If we have 10 to 40 fishes, it's low. If it is 40 to 60, it's medium. If it is 60 to 100, it's high, okay, for this um, fish pond here. So the motor pump, meaning the, uh, the amount of time it is um, it is uh, pumping water is measured in RPM. RPM means revolution per minute, okay? Revolution per minute. So it means that it keeps on um, pumping water by revolving. So the motor pump is, is said to be slow if it performs 10 to 40 RPM, meaning the, the, the rounding or the rounds of the pump here. Of course, the amount of water being supplied by the pump depends on the RPM, right? So the revolution per minute. So the higher the revolution per minute, the higher, the more water it will supply here. So it, it is said to be fast if it will be uh, doing revolution per minute, which values range ranges from 40 to 60. So this is the situation here. So we have the rules. If the temperature is high or the density is high, then the pump is fast, okay? So if the temperature is high or the density is high, the pump is fast. So meaning the temperature is very high or high, 
and then there are too much fishes in this one so the pump should be fast if the temperature is average and the density meaning the number of fishes is medium then the pump is slow because the temperature is not hot not cold so density and the density is also medium not too much fishes so the pump, the pump should be slow now if the temperature is very low meaning freezing almost freezing and the density we have a uh, few fishes here so the pump should be fast it has to replace the water because water is very cold so we have to replace it so that fishes will not die and if temperature is average and the density is high meaning the temperature is uh, not cold not hot but we have but we have plenty of fishes we have to speed up the pump here because we have to clean the water we have we have to know that if we have plenty of fishes water will become very dirty so we have to replace it okay that's why even though the temperature is average but we have plenty of fishes so we have to speed up the pump now if the temperature is high meaning it's very hot and then the density is medium meaning we we have medium amount or number of uh, fishes present in in the pond then we have to make the pump very fast if the temperature is low and the density is high and then the pump is slow so we have plenty of fishes here and then if temperature is average and density is low then pump should be slow so this is how we explain it now we have this case we have this case here wherein we were given the value of 27 degrees celsius okay so we were given the values of 27 degrees for the temperature and the density of 48 fishes so we are going to determine the speed of the motor pump okay you are required to um, to determine the motor pump here shall I erase this I will erase this okay we don't need this anymore let me just clean it so that you will know proceed to the next example so let me write here the fuzzy logic steps so let me take these steps from our PowerPoint these are the steps let me copy this and paste it here then we will follow one by one okay so in the final examination you have to follow these steps okay very carefully you have to follow all these steps very carefully in in the final exam okay so let's begin with the first one which is defining defining all the linguistic variables okay so we're going to define the linguistic variables so going back to the case Oh, sorry going back to the case we have temperature density and motor pump right so we have to define it so based on this we have to define these uh, linguistic variables here so we just have to write something like this for temperature let me just write in here linguistic variables so for temperature we have low and then we have medium and then we have high so these are the linguistic variables that we will be using for this um, exercise next we have the second one let me just write here 
For the second one, we have density. Under density, we have the following linguistic variables. We have low. I'm sorry for temperature, it should be average. This one is average. Then we have low. Then we have medium. And we have high. And then for motor pump, they just have to write pump here just to make it shorter. Pump, we have the following variables slow and medium. Okay? So we're done with the, li the linguistic variables. Let's proceed to the next step. Let me copy this again. Let me copy this again. So we'll now proceed to the next step. The next step is about construct the membership function. Ready? We're going to construct the membership function. This, uh, this part is a little bit um, 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 complicated, so you have to follow me very carefully with uh, the way we do the presentation here. Okay? So construct the membership function. So we have uh, three membership functions, right? As per the problem, we have three. Let me just uh, go back with the problem. So we have three here. We have temperature, density, and motor pump. So we have to draw the membership function of this, okay? So in the final examination, if the membership functions were not provided to you, you have to draw it. Or you have to draw them if they are plenty, okay? But if they were given to you, if they were given to you, there's no need to draw it. They're already given to you. But if they are not given to you, like in this problem, you're only given the ranges, so it means you are obliged to um, draw the membership function. We are going to draw the diagram as per required here. Let's begin first with um, temperature. Okay. So the membership function, let me just write in here on the top. Membership functions, membership functions. Let me begin first with um, temperature. So temperature has um, ranges from 0 to 50, right? So meaning we can divide the plane into 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we can, we can do that. Okay, let's, let's begin with. So we could have 10, 20, 30, up to 50. So if you will notice, I changed my whiteboard from, from the typical um, white background to a grid background so that uh, we could draw some, some graphs here. So let me use the ruler. Let me just rotate this to zero. Again, this one. So, since we're going to make it 0 to 50, so we have to uh, make it um, blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 blocks, right? You have to make it 10 blocks. So, you have to remember, normally when I, when I draw the membership functions, let me just give you a technique so that you will you will know how to draw it properly. Let me just um, let me just um, give you some hints here so that you will know how to draw it. So the column the column length or the column should be the um, row divided by two. Okay, 
So this is my this this is how I draw it. Column equals row divided by two. So that I will just have to make it, to draw it properly. So if my range is zero to fifty, so meaning I have five blocks, five blocks, meaning this one is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And then I could I could draw this one to be um, so I have one, two, three, four, five. So the, the, um, the difference between these two will be 2.5, right? So meaning this height should be 2.5, two and a half. So if I have to use um, five. So let's try to use um, this one, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, so that we could have a wider um, screen, okay? So let me just draw here. So let me move this a little bit lower. Okay, so let me go with 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I'll be using two blocks. Okay. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I'll be using 10 blocks. Okay. Therefore, I have to use here 5. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let me just move this up. So just, I just have, I just want to make my, um, to make my drawing proportional. So let me just uh, rotate this. To 90 degrees. Okay, let me put it here. So you have to make one, one, two, three, four, five. So let me draw a line. Okay. Let me remove this uh, ruler for the meantime. So let me mark each block with uh, values. So this should be um, 10. The first block will be 10. Then I have to write in here 20. And then we have 30. Then we have 40. And then we have 50. Okay. So we have to place them properly. 50 is here. 40 is in this point. 30 is in this point, 20 is in this point, 10 is in this point, so we could play 0 here, okay? Because temperature, as per our, um, our, draw, our um, requirements, temperature is from 0 to 50, okay? So let's try to... Um, if you want, um, can I can I draw the tables here? Maybe I could have to draw the table so that you will know what I am doing. Low is zero to twenty. Average is twenty to thirty. High is thirty to fifty. Okay, so these are the ranges that we need to go with. So if you look at it, if you look at it, um, low is 0 to 20, so they have the meeting point. Average and uh, low, they meet as 20, right? Meaning they overlap at 20 here. So if they overlap at 20, meaning half of this should be an overlapping here. Okay, it's an overlap between low and average so this should be in the 20 so if I'm going to use the ruler again okay so if I'm going to rotate this ruler okay so meaning half of it which is 2.5 which is this approximately would be the meeting point right so meaning at Point twenty, okay. At point twenty, low and average will meet, so you have to mark it. Okay, 
I have to mark it. Why do I need to mark it? Meaning this is an overlapping area between the two. Okay, low and average. If you will see high and average will meet at point 30, right? At point 30. So meaning if I have a point 0.5 here and I have to mark point 30 as a meeting point between the two. Okay? So after this, I could now draw I could now draw the diagram. So it's better if you start with low and high because you already have the meeting points between the two, low and high, you can start. Then you could finish average later on. So what we will do is we have to rotate this ruler again. Okay. Let us just rotate this ruler. Okay, to meet at this point. So you have to go with this point, rotate it until you will see this point here, which is 25. Okay, this is a 25 here. Okay, so since there is no overlap between low, low and high, so you, you should not do the overlapping between low and high, right? Because 20 and 30 here. So meaning we don't have to overlap them. So I have to draw now. Based on this, I could draw 25. Okay, I could draw this with this line. Okay, that's it. Now I have to do the same with high. Okay, so let me just rotate my ruler again and move it here. I have to move it here in the 25. Then I have to rotate it a little bit here so that I could get the right positioning. Okay, so draw it from here up to here. There. Okay, so I can now draw my triangle. Okay, so the triangle will be somewhere here. Okay. So they have to meet again on the point. You have to remember, the points here are very important, okay? The points here. So you have to take it and draw. Okay? Okay? So let's draw the other side of the triangle. It has to pass the same point, okay? The meeting points of the two. You remember the meeting points between this, which is 20. It has to pass by, I mean, the 30 meeting point. Okay? So, draw it. This is how you do it, my friends. Then, lastly, you have to finalize the figures by finalizing the value here. 50 and here okay so let me just write something here which is um, 1 on the top and in the middle it should be 0.5 if you will see the values in between is 0.5 why 0.5 here 20 and 20 and 30 and 30. Why it is 0.5? Because it is half here and also half here. Right? So the temperature we have low is the area for the low and is the area for the average. Okay, let me just draw it. And this is the area for high. Okay, so if you notice, the values of 20 here, this one and this one, we, we put them on the 0.5, right? Because they are one half low at the same time, one half average. They are in between, okay? So meaning they are 0 0.5. 0 0.5 in a sense, we don't know if it is low or average because they, they, lie, they lie in between the two ranges, which is low and 
average. Likewise, the 30 here, if you will see it in here, the 30 is lying between high and average. So we, we will put it on the 0.5 as well. Okay? So this is for the temperature. We can now proceed for the um, density. Let me write it in here. So please remember, let me repeat it again, when you draw this, when you draw this, my friends, the size, the size of this should be one half of this, okay? So if this is um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten blocks, this one should be one, two, three, four, five, five blocks. Please remember that uh, format, okay? Now let's proceed to density. Density is having this um, low. Low is 10 to 40. And then we have medium, which is 40 to 60. And then we have high, which is um, 6200. Okay, so these are the ranges for this. Proceed to um, density. So I gave you the, um, the table here. So again, we can use 10 unit of tens because we started with 10 and then end up with 100. So it is quite longer. So we'll be using 10 blocks from here. Okay. So we will have 10 to 100. So let me just draw. Let me just take the um, let me just take the ruler again. So I'll be using 10 blocks. Okay, 10 blocks I will be using. So meaning we will be using five blocks here at the top. One, two, three, four, five. So I think this one is enough. So we'll be using 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's very long. So I'll just have to get, take 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just to make our drawing a little bit realistic. One, two, three, four, six, eight and 10, okay? So let me just put the values here. Or if you want, we can do it up to here. We will use two blocks, same as uh, this example here. So we'll be using one, two, three, four, then I have to raise this. So that you will see a wider picture of the image. So one, two. Let me just see what we have done on the first one. Okay, so one block each. So one, two, three, four, five. So somewhere here we have to draw this pattern part. So from here, one, two, three, four, five. Somewhere here we have to draw. Okay. So let me use the same thing. up to here, I just have to erase it later. I have to type zero. Up to ten. And you have to get here twenty. And you have to get here thirty. You have to get it to 40. You have to get it here 50. You have to get it here 60. And here 70. Then here I have to put it to 80. <coughs> Excuse me. And here we have to get 90. And here we have to get 100. Okay, now let me 
then let me delete the extra line here okay so again we have to count one two three four five so this is the line we have to rotate this in this way to 90 degrees okay so one two three four five Okay, so the half of it the half of it will be which one? Here, right? This is the half. So let me just write something like uh, one here on the top one here on the top and 0.5, 0 0.5, or 0.5, it's fine, 0.5, on the middle, which is this, I guess, right? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yes. I hope you can see it properly. Can you see it properly? Okay, good. So, let's try to graph again start with the meeting points okay look at the meeting points where are the two meeting so in this case low and medium are meeting at 40 so we have to put a point on the 40 here this okay let me just put a note so they meet on the 40 here this one and um, high is meeting medium and high are meeting at 60 so here in this point okay since I know where the two meeting so meaning the end point of those two will be here at 50 is the end point of the two okay so they will end here so if I'll get the um, ruler again if I'll get the ruler we can, I could point it in the 50, here in the 50, and rotate it, sorry. Okay, that's it. So I could draw the line here, and then we could draw the line for the next one. it so you can now draw the triangle okay so we since we have this point already so this is the middle of the triangle is also the 50 the value of 50 so we could redraw the triangle now and have it like this so it will fall on the 30 Likewise, we have to we have to rotate this ruler. Should be on the seventy. Then you have to move it like this. Okay. 
okay so we can now check the values here if they are properly placed on our drawing let me just finalize the drawing first okay sorry so it's only from 10 right it's not from 0 so we don't need a 0 here so we could erase here from this side because so we don't need the 0 up to 10 only okay then we could get up to 100 here And you can now do you can now do the um, labeling is for low this for medium and this for high good any question here for density Any question here for the density? If none, let's proceed to the temperature. I mean for the uh, pump. So let's go with the pump. Okay. So in the pump, so our ranges is 10 to um, 60. So we have to, again, follow the same ruling, two blocks. So 0 to 60, so we have 3. From here, 1, 2, 3, because we have 60, right? 10 to 60. So we have 6 and 12 blocks. So 12 blocks we'll be using. So here we'll be using 6 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So in this point. So from this point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up to this point. Okay? And then here, 12 blocks. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So we'll be using 12 here and 6 here. So let me just draw the line again. Okay, so you have it. Let me write the values here, 0 here. By the way, I forgot to write the values for the ranges. We have slow. Slow is 10 to 40. And then we have fast, which is 40 to 60. Okay? These are the ranges for the pump. Slow pumping and fast pumping. So, zero, then we have in here 10. Let's place it here on this dot. Let me magnify it a bit. And we have here 20. And we have here 30. Then we have here 40. And we have here 50. And lastly, we have 60. So it's fine then. Let's now construct the vertical line. So let me uh, move the ruler vertically. Until I reach 90 degrees. Let me put it here on this side draw the image okay that's it so let me write one on the top and 0.5 in the middle 
what is the middle one two three four five six so I should have one two three this one is the middle which is 0.5 this one right okay going back with the given let me just move it somewhere here so that you will see so slow and fast are meeting at 40 right so they meet at 40 values both of them are 40 so we have to write it somewhere here 40 somewhere here so let me just point 40 here so the two of them will be meeting at 40 okay so in this case you can draw the triangle in such a way it will pass through these uh, values, okay? Okay? So let's try to uh, draw it. It should be a perfect triangle, okay? If you are confused where to put it, it should be a perfect triangle, okay? Control Z. You have to make note, my friends, the area of overlapping should be a perfect triangle. Okay? Now let me just uh, move it. Any question here? Try to label them. This is for slow and this is for fast. Okay, our graphs were now complete. We can now proceed to the next step. Okay, let's now go with the uh, rule three, which is construct the rule base, okay? This one, construct the rule base. So in this case, we can take um, the, set, the uh, PDF so that we could construct the rule base here. Let me go back again with the PDF. So I have to take this, insert all pages, okay, but this time I need to take only 
this um, area okay so for the rule base we have to take this only so we have to move a little bit here it's overlapping okay so we need to work on this part of the screen the rules so please focus on this we need this okay so as for the requirement we have to construct the rule base So we have here the temperature. So let's let's go with the step here in the PowerPoints how to we get the syntax. It's like this, right? Cover sunny then like this. Okay? So we will be using the, um, the rule base. Let's the first rule is this. Temperature close parenthesis high then we have or right so we have or here another one is density which is high and then we have this which is which one pump is fast This is how we construct the rule base. How about the second one? Second one is temperature average and we will be using and here so we'll be using a different symbol. Okay so we'll be using density What's the density here is medium and then pump is according to this pump should be uh, slow mm. next temperature is low and density is um, where is that symbol I forgot where it is temperature is low and density is low then pump is pump is fast for the third one next for the fourth rule we have temperature temperature is average density is high then pump is pump is fast 5 temperature again temperature is high and density is and density is um, medium 
then pump should be fast then six temperature number six temperature is low and density density is high then pump is slow seven the last rule temperature is average and density is density is low then we will have pump should be slow let's uh, proceed to the next step We're done with the um, rule base. Let's now proceed with the conversion of the crisp inputs. So you know this one, right? We did it last time, the very long calculation. So let's try to erase this. We don't need this for now. We'll go for the next one, which is this step four. Okay, we're going to convert crisp in uh, data to fuzzy values, okay? So going back with the problem, okay, going back to the problem, we have temperature 27 degrees. density is um, let's get it density is um, 48 okay so we'll try to convert everything the crisp inputs into uh, fuzzy values so I guess we need to borrow these things right we have to borrow this from our graph let me just go with the snipping tool here. I guess I need this. Right, this is the first one we did earlier. So I'll just have to copy it. So we have 27. So where is 27 located? So 27 is somewhere here, right? So 20, let me just highlight with red. So 27 is somewhere here. This is 25, 26, 27. So 27 is somewhere here. Okay. Right? So X is 27 here 
So it's somewhere here. So it's lying between average and high, right? So we have to write here the function temperature. It, it is on the average. Okay. So what will be the formula that we're going to use for this? So since it's a trapezoid, we have to follow the formula, right, for the trapezoid. Let me just open the PowerPoint. Let's go with um, the membership functions here. Trapezoid, this one. Okay, so this is our trapezoid. So we will be using this side of the trapezoid. I think I have to copy this as well. Mm, this one and this one. Okay, so we'll be using this. So in this, we'll be using which one? Since it is, we have to, for the average, which, uh, which one we're going to use? The triangle, right? So we'll be using the triangle for the average. So our x is located on here. So meaning on this between b and c, right? This is a, this is b, this is c, right? So let me just uh, to put a note here so that you will see. This is A. This is B. This is C. So our, our X is located between B and C. This one. So B and C. So we're going to use the formula C minus X over C minus B. So it will be C minus X divided by C minus B. Let me close it with a parenthesis. Right? So we have another one which is temperature. We have two. Temperature which is from which side? Temperature which is high, right? So let me just move it here and we'll do the calculation later. So temperature high is what kind of um, image? It's a trapezoid, so we have to go with the top one, this. Right? So we have to use this one, the top one. So A, B, C. So again, X27 is between A and B in this example. A, B, C. So this is A. This is B. This is C. So it, it is between A and B in this example. So A and B here, this one this. So we're going to use the formula. Between A and B, so we'll be having the formula x minus A divided by B minus A, right? Close parenthesis, close parenthesis. So since we have this formula with us, we can now Calculate the value for the temperature. Ready? So let's just have to put it here. 
equals let's have to put a calculation c what is the value of c in this example is 35 right it's 35 minus x which is 27 divided by c minus b so this is 35 minus b which is 25 correct correct let me just repeat it c this is c the point of the triangle here which is c which is 25 at uh, 35 based on this drawing minus x which is 27 our given and then c again which is 35 minus b so this is our b which is 25 lying between 20 and 30 is 25 so you can now do the calculation let me just open the calculator so we can do it here the math close parenthesis 35 minus 27 divided by 35 minus 25 equals this 0 0.8 so this is 0 0.8 okay how about for the temperature high so let me go back here So this should be x, which is 27, minus a. So this is our a. We're using trapezoid, okay, for the high. a, which is 25, divided by c minus b. This is our c, and this is our, this is our c, and this is our b, right? So again, x minus a, which is 27, minus 25, so let me just have to change the color so that you will know which is for trapezoid and which is for uh, triangle, okay? So let me use black for this one, gray. So this is A, this is B, this is C, okay? Okay, so that you will know the, the difference. So this is um, 27, minus 25 which is our a which is 25 here divided by b minus a this is our b which is 35 okay so this is 35 this is 35 minus b is that correct c no 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 this is c no no b minus a so which is 35 minus 25 that's correct equals let's use the calculator clear here close parenthesis get inside 27 minus 25 divided by 35 minus 25 equals one-fifth which is point two right so it's point two zero point two high meaning if you're going to analyze this uh, values you you computed the value um, our x which is 27 is 80 percent average and 20 percent high so if you're going to add the two it should give you one right it should give you one. So meaning 80% goes to the average and 20% goes to the high. So this is how we interpret this. Let's proceed to the next one, which is density. Okay. So again, let me borrow the drawing here. I'll go with snipping. Take it and copy it like this. That I will get it. Now let me paste it here. OK. 
Okay. Let me drag it so that you will see here. Again, let me move this down so that we have a guide. Okay. So let's see. So what's the given? The given is 48 for the density. So 48 is somewhere here, right? So let me draw a red line. So 48 is somewhere here. So this is our x. x is 48, right? As given here, the example. Yes, it's 48. Okay, so it means that we'll be following density, close parenthesis, which one? Medium, and we'll be using the other one, which is density, which is low, right? So this, this one is low. So we have medium and low. Okay, let me just put it in here. And let me put it in here. So we have two. So density is falling with medium and also with low. Okay? So low is using trapezoid. Okay, so let me just mark trapezoid with the green one. So we'll be having this drawing with us. Let's move it here. This one we'll be using, so this side, okay, this side. So using this pen, I'll be using this. So this side, this side is B, right? This side is B. Let's erase it so properly good. Let me just write on another color, please. No. Let me go with blue to make it better. Go with blue. This is B. Right? And this is C. This one is C. And this one here at the end is D. Okay? So for density, we'll be following this formula. So look at this. For low, we'll be using this. So our x is between C and D, based on this diagram, C and D. Okay? So we'll be following which formula? Between C and D, this one. D minus x over D minus C. <clears throat> okay? So we'll do it later. For medium, Medium is between what? X medium is between what? So let's mark this. Let me use red pen to indicate its triangle. So this is A, this is B, and this is C. Okay? So our um, density with this medium lies between A and B. So A and B here. So we have to follow the formula X minus A over B minus A. X minus A divides by B minus A. Any question here? Good, so far. Let's now proceed to the substitution of the values. You just have to write equal sign here. Close parenthesis, divide by close parenthesis. So D minus X, we have 50 minus X, which is 48, divided by D minus C, 50 minus 30. Okay, please check the values. D minus X, 50 minus 48, 
and then b minus c which is 50 minus 30 okay get the final value for this we'll get it close parentheses get inside 50 minus 48 divided by 50 minus 30 you will get 1 tenth which is 0.1 so only 10 percent okay 10 percent goes to low now let's go with density medium substitute the values equal sign space here close parentheses divided by close parentheses let's see the value here x minus a which is 48 minus a which is 30 divided by b minus a which is 50 minus 30 so calculating the values in your calculator we will get this 48 minus 30 divided by 50 minus 30 okay equals 9 out of 10 I mean 9 over 10 which is 0 0.9 0 0.9 so adding the two 0 0.1 plus 0 0.9 will give you 1 so if your answer is more than that then most probably your calculation is very I mean, it's, it's wrong, okay? You have to make note of that. So the sum of these two values should be 1, or else you did the wrong calculation. Proceed to the next stage. So we're done with this. Please remember all these values, okay? Remember all these values. We'll be using them on the next step. Let me just uh, copy this. Let me just put this one somewhere here. Okay, which one? We're now going to evaluate the rule base, okay? We're now on this step. let me borrow let me borrow the um, results let me get first the results from here I need the results so let me just get this Okay, you know, let me get the rule base. Let me borrow the rule base. This.
Okay, let's see. So we will highlight, we will highlight the match, okay? So this one and this one, okay? So let's see which one will match. Average low. Let's go for average low. No average low here. Average low. No average low. Average low. Average low. This one. So we will take this. Okay. Then the second pair we have high and medium. High, medium, high, medium. So we will use this. Okay. So, based on the values, okay, so we'll be using this. To the next step, let me copy this again. We will now proceed to the next step, which is combine the results of each rule or inference. Okay, so we'll, we'll combine the rules, okay? So how we will do that? Go with the PowerPoint and see how we need to do that. This one. So we have to do the combination here, okay? And same here, we have to do the combination here. So we have to get the rules that we used earlier, I mean that we selected earlier. Let me just get this. Let me just uh, borrow this again here so that you will just see what I am doing. So we'll be getting this. This rule here. Okay. So let me just write it here. We'll be using rule five. Temperature high and density close parenthesis which is medium then pump should be fast pump should be fast so we have these two rules right Let me just put it here. Then we have the other one. Let me just copy this. Let me just replace the values. So this is average. And this one is low. Then pump is slow. Slow. So let me just put them here. OK, 
Okay. So we're now ready to evaluate it. Okay, so we'll be doing this. So temperature high is how much? Temperature high is um, temperature high is how much we have? 0 0.2 and density is 0 0.9. Therefore, we will, we will select which one? The smaller value, right? Because we are, doing, we, we are working with AND, so we will be working with the smaller value. So we will be using 0.2. OK? So it's um, 0.2. OK? So the conclusion here is it should be 0 0.2 fast. How about here, the next one? Temperature average is 0 0.8 and density is 0 0.1. Okay, 0 0.1. So let me just put the uh, decimal here so that you won't be confused. Zero, 0 0.1 here, also 0 0.1 here. Okay, let's see what will happen. So this is 0 0.8 and 0 0.1. This is 0 0.2 and 0 0.9. So since we are using AND, we will be selecting the lower value, which is 0 0.1. In this case, it should be 0 0.1 fast. Okay? So we're done. We're done with the evaluation proceed to the next step which is the last step we'll go with the falsification okay we will go with the falsification now let me just copy this so let's go with number seven which is convert the output into fuzzy values. Control Z. Okay, so we'll convert now the output into non fuzzy values. So let me borrow the graph that we have done for density, the membership function, I mean. Let me borrow this. This one, I'm going to borrow it. Okay, we're now going to do the defalsification. Okay, so how we will do that? Again, go with the values here that we had earlier. We could copy this and just copy and place it here. Copy this and place it here. Okay, we can now proceed. Ah, I'm sorry, this is slow, right? Sorry, this is slow. Nobody corrected me earlier. Fast and slow. Then this one we have fast and slow. This is slow. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. So we have um, 0.2 fast, this is fast, so we have 0.25, so let me just mark something here, this should be 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25,
could play somewhere here. 0.25. So maybe 0.2 is somewhere here, right? So we have 0.2. So 0.2 will be somewhere here in this portion. Okay? 0.2 fast. Okay? So maybe 0.2 is somewhere here. 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.25. And then, what's the one half of 0 0.25, 0 0.25? 0 0.25 divided by 2, we will get 0 0.125. So maybe we have 0 0.125 here. On this side. Okay, so we just have to do some estimation here. We don't know the exact value. So we have 0 0.2, so it should be somewhere here. Okay, in this line. So let me just to remove this. So point 0.2 is somewhere here, perhaps. Okay, so point 0.2 fast. Let me just draw a line for point 0.2 fast. So this one. Okay, this side is point 0.2 fast. Okay. So this is, let me just write something like 0 0.2. The next, we have 0.1 slow. So 0.1, maybe half of this, so we will get somewhere here. Okay? Let me go again with uh, the ruler. So 0.1 will be somewhere here. Okay, so this is 0.1 slow. So up to this. So this is this is point one slow. This is um, point one slow. Zero point one. So this now your area under the curve. Okay. So you could actually erase this just to see the graphing. You could do erasing of this like this okay so this is your graph so we can't change it so it's a right so we could now do the, do the defalsification Okay, let's do the defalsification. But actually, we have to erase this part, okay? This, this one and this. We have to erase them, actually. So let's now calculate it with the COG. Using COG, COG means central of gravity. We could do the calculation now. So speed or pump, speed or rotation, okay? Pump rotation should be what? So we could calculate it in this way, right? So close parenthesis. Then this one should be Let's uh, calculate the values. Since pump starts with 10, we don't have to include 0, okay? So 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 plus 50. So we have to start with the slow, okay? This is the slow part. From here up to here is the slow, okay? Okay, from here up to here is the slow. Multiplied by which weight? 0 0.1. Because all the slow should be 0.1 according to this uh, calculation. So you can close this. Then you have to add it with this. 
close parenthesis. Let's now go with fasts. So from here up to here would be for fast. So we have 30 plus 40 plus 50 plus 60 divided by times, I mean multiplied by 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Okay, so this is the way you calculate it. Then after this, we have to divide this by the number of weights. Okay. So we have to divide it by this, right? So we will have we'll have here this is 1 1 2 3 4 5 5 times 0 0.1 let me just close it with parentheses better plus 1 2 3 4 multiplied by 0 0.2 okay so we will divide it okay so let me repeat all the values okay please check the range it's low is 10 to 40 only okay 10 to 40 only fast is 40 to 60 okay but you have to check on the membership function here so all the slow should be from 10 up to 50 based on this uh, drawing. So we have to multiply 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, this one, okay? Then from, from fast, we have 30, 40, 50, 60. 30, 40, 50, 60. And we have to multiply this total with the weights, which is 0.1, and the total of these weights with 0.2. And after that, we have to divide it by the sum, by, by the number of cases multiplied by the weights. So, slow, slow has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 cases. So, we have 5 here and multiply it by the weights here. Plus 4, because 1, 2, 3, 4, we have 4 cases for fast multiplied by 0.2. So, in this way, we can now get the answer. So please do the honor of calculating the first half. So we could get the first half here. So 10, you know, close parenthesis, 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 plus 50 multiplied by 0.1, we will get 15. So the first parenthesis is 15 plus the other parenthesis we have to calculate as well. So we have close parenthesis here 30 plus 40 plus 50 plus 60 then close parenthesis multiplied by 0.2. So we will get 36. So the second parenthesis is 36. Then we have to, de to um, divide it by the value below. Okay? So we have to close it like this so that you will just know. I'm just um, doing it in such a way you will do it properly. Although you can do the shortcut very fast, but I prefer to do it in such a way confusions will be eliminated later. Okay, let's add another one here. So let's try to solve the bottom. So the bottom here we will have, this is, close parenthesis here, 5 times 0 0.1 plus 4 times 0 0.2, we will get 1.3, right? So let me just repeat to ensure it. 
0.5 times 0.1 plus 4 times 0.2, we will get 1.3. So we have to write in here 1.3. Okay? So we can now finalize the answer. I'm sorry for that. We can now finalize the answer. So it will be what? 15 plus 36. 15 plus 36 will give you 51. Divided by 1.3. So this time we should get. Divide by 1.3. We should get. 39, 39.23, right, 39.23. So it means that our pump should perform 39 RPM, okay, 39 revolution per, revolution per minute, okay, so it should be doing this. So this is now the answer for the for the calculation and um, thank you so much for your time for attending this uh, um, today's uh, class thank you so much and uh, masalam